Hi, I'm Steve from Amtech. Being asked a question by Freya of North West London about our S5590, the 150 piece press stud fastening kit. She's asked, how do I use it properly? So let me run through it for you. The S5990 is a complete, easy to use metal press stud kit, which is ideal for securing straps, flaps and covers, and is suitable for use on a wide range of materials up to three millimeters. Now in the box kit, you do get six colors, in it but you will also need a hammer I'm going to use a 40 millimeter double faced hammer because it's got a little bit more give than a normal metal face hammer but you can use whatever hammer you want so what do you get in the box firstly we have a 24 millimeter round forming die this is a concave side and it also has a pin side then we have a pin tool which has got a little dome bit coming outwards at the top and we have a concave tool which has a little dome going in white woods. Next we have a hole punching tool to punch holes in whatever material you're going to use. Then we come to the press stud parts. Now each press stud comes in four parts. Firstly we have the cap which is easily recognisable because it's got a dome on one side. Then we come to the snap rivet Again, easy recognisable, it's got a little M-shaped clip inside it to snap it into place. On the other side, we have a post, which is flat on one side. And on the top is a post. And then we have a little button which fits on top of the post. So to Put a press stud onto a bit of material, um, make sure the material is no thicker than 3mm, this one will only do up to 3mm in thickness. I've got a bit of le leather here. Um, first thing you need to do is you get the bit to make the holes, the hole forming tool, get a hammer, strike a few times. You can see that there's a hole gone straight through there. Um, make sure you put something down so you're not going to damage whatever you're hammering into. So that's the first part done. You then get the first two bits that you need to use, which is the dome shape and the, the river one, one with the M bit of metal in. Put it through the hole and then your forming tool, 24 millimeter, put that on there, so make sure it's nice and centre on there. You then get, put that, get the pin shape tool and put it on top of the bit that I just showed you, the, the, the pin coming through. Again, a few sharp taps. So now to do the other side. A few more, there we go, and then we've got a nice hole, hole in the center. Again, this time I'm using the pin that goes through the hole, so that's one side, that's the other. And then you get the little button bit that goes on top. Now the button bit, as if you push it on, you should have heard the, that click. That's now into place. And a few sharp taps down. So now we can connect together. And we have a press stud. Thanks for watching. For any other questions regarding tools for the home, garage and garden, please visit amtechdiy.com and we look forward to answering them for you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our Amtech DIY YouTube channel for more DIY videos. Thank you.